Okay, so check it out. The following week that we got coming up, <clears throat> we got the Pacers. We got Kimmel Walker coming back into town on Thursday with the Celtics. We got the Pelicans. And then we got the 76ers wrapping up on Sunday. What's our record? One and three. One and three. I go one and three. One and three. Okay. Vince going out on the limb. Vince is going to say two and two. I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to say something that I may regret next week. I'm going to go out on the limb here. And I'm going to say we beat the Celtics. What? Yeah. You, I would say that listen, that. I may look like a fool next week. But I, I, this hunts. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Dear Hornets fans, the answer is no. You cannot wear a Kimball Walker Charleston Celtics jersey, Celtics jersey you, on Thursday. You, you are a straight clown. You can wear that one. If, if, <laughs> if you are a Hornets fan, you only can wear a Hornets jersey. Okay? So just want to throw that out there, all right? I, I got into a big Facebook argument with a chick, why you arguing with with chick man. who said, I can't wait to see Kimball Walker comes back so I can wear my Celtics jersey. I, I'll just keep it. We'll be sure to clown it, we'll, too, okay? Yeah, so. All right, so look. I want to move on to uh, Coach JB. So, um, you guys know I've been pretty critical of JB over the summer because what he wanted to do last year, mm-hmm. he went away from it in more ways than one. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of had that same philosophy this year, but he's actually following through with what mm-hmm. he said he was going to do. So, give me you guys his initial thoughts on JB after the first couple weeks of the season. Let me say something to what you just said first. And, and I usually don't think this way, but I got a hunch. I, I, I kind of believe Hornets brass last year was like, hey, man, there's a lot of dudes making a lot of money. They need to be playing. And we need to make the playoffs. And we need to make the playoffs. And I kind of believe when they saw that it didn't work, someone said, maybe we should trust JB a little more. Mm-hmm. And down the stretch, we see what happened last year down the stretch. We, you know, we see what's yeah. going on with the, with the young guys this year, so... Possible. So, using that logic, though, what do you think would have happened during the All Star break last year that gave JB the ability to start playing the young guys a lot more? Uh, just seeing what, seeing that whatever that we were doing wasn't working. Just wasn't working. Yeah, it just wasn't working. Like, behind further and further. Right, and I think desperation. It was like, all right, man, we really want to make the playoffs, and it's not working. We, I guess, we're at a point we got to try something else. Yeah. All right, what you got, Ronnie? Thoughts on JB? Um, I apologize for calling him Spanish Sam Vincent. <laughs> That's uh, completely disrespectful. <laughs> Sam Vincent? I mean, I, I was, Sam Vincent. I, 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 I said that. I oh, my God. God. I could say that because I'm part Spanish, though. But no, no, I don't. Sam Vincent? <laughs> Sam Vincent is a way worse insult than any racial I'm sorry, stuff. I'm sorry, man, but... Uh, my goodness, right? He's really impressed me with, with his adjustments okay. and, and him trusting... I think I just got a blood clot. And him actually trusting the young players. <laughs> and actually seeing the young players actually develop under him and get better, making better choices. Uh, Bacon came out a little slow yeah. this year. But last night, he, he lit it up. He had 25 points. Yeah, 26. 26. 26. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Rozier. He's gotten better. He's, got, he's gotten better through the year. And uh, you, you remember all the talk. He never shot up with 40. Well, he's at 43% now. Yeah. Well, what? Let's... Let's wait until we're a little bit further in this season before, hey, man, the point that before, before we start saying names and calling people out, and we'll we'll do that later, okay? And, and, then, and then even you look at Malik Monk. Uh-huh. He's not averaging the points. Are you but, ready? Are you ready to apologize to Malik Monk yet, Ronnie? Uh, not yet. I, 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 look, <laughs> <laughs> I criticize people that need to be criticized. We all do. I'm in Marshall. I, 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 I criticize everybody that need to be criticized. And I ain't gonna say hey, act like I wasn't on your train. And, 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 so. and, and, and then like. Even before the season started, I said, I hope Malik Monk's ready. Yeah. And put the work in. We are room for him. And, and I ain't said nothing bad against the kid right. all year. Right. Even though when he was sucking the first three games. But I, I, I'm thoroughly impressed of how unselfish Jesus he's become. Yeah. And he's learning to pick his spots a little better. And I, I honestly don't – I'm saying this out of my mind. I honestly, think, they, I honestly think that breakthrough is coming through pretty soon. You know what's and, funny about Malik – I mean to cut you off, but you know, what I, you know what I'm noticing about Malik Monk, believe it or not? 
He's like actually engaged defensively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. Just like who is this dude? Like, <laughs> like I, I feel like whatever light bulb went off or, or, or somebody talked to him or something, like he just looks so much more engaged now. Man. He's that hard headed kid that that finally gets him in his last chance and to get his ass with all these years. <laughs> right. I told you not. To, uh, he I, put I his hand on the stove. Yeah, yeah, yeah he put his hand on the stove and he's like, oh, that really burns. <laughs> <laughs> it's up, man. So, 